Coach Eddie Robinson. Edward Gay Robinson was born in Jackson, Louisiana in 1919 to a father who was a sharecropper and a mother who was a domestic worker. At the age of six, Robinson's family moved to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where Robinson would be introduced to the game of football. He would become intrigued by the head football coach of a local high school team who visited his elementary school class. This is the beginning of a journey that would change his life and the lives of others. As a high school student, Robinson was known for organizing football games for the local children in his neighborhood. At the same time, he was a standout player on the McKinley High School football team. He graduated from McKinley in 1937. He would then attend Leland College in Baker, Louisiana on a football scholarship where he would play as an elite quarterback for the team. Robinson would develop a friendship with a minister named Reuben Turner, who taught Robinson the importance of developing his team's playbook as well as taking him to his first coaching clinic. He would graduate from Leland College and begin looking for a coaching job but did not find any luck. Because of the Jim Crow laws, he could only get a coaching job at an HBCU. At that time, all of the head coaching jobs were filled. Robinson began working at a field meet for 25 cents an hour, but his luck would soon change. The Louisiana Negro Normal and Industrial Institute was searching for a new head coach. Robinson applied for the job and became the new head coach of what is now known as Grambling State University in 1941. At the age of 22, Robinson would begin his legendary coaching journey without the help of any assistant coaches to relieve him of some of the duties. Coach Robinson was determined to create a culture of hard work and success despite his obvious challenges. He did everything from coaching the team to mowing the lawn they played on, and he even wrote the team's press releases for the local media. Robinson's first season as head coach of Grambling State football, the team only won three games. The following season, Robinson completely turned around the football program. His team went from a three-win team to an undefeated nine-win team who did not allow an opposing touchdown. Because of World War II, the Grambling football team did not take the field for two years. His players were being recruited for the war. The team returned to the field in 1945 and posted a 10-win season. This was a vivid picture of the future of Grambling State football. Under the direction of Eddie Robinson, Grambling State University's football team saw 45 winning seasons in 19 Southwestern Athletic Conference Championships in 55 seasons. He was instrumental in helping 200 of his players reach the professional football ranks, and he was also the college football coach of Doug Williams, the first black quarterback to win a Super Bowl. A trailblazer in the world of football, Robinson became the first college football head coach to reach the 400 win mark. He ended his career with a 408 167 and 16 record as a head coach. In 1998, the Los Angeles Football Classic Foundation named their Black College Football National Championship trophy after Eddie Robinson. In 1992, Eddie Robinson received the Bobby Dodd Head Coach of the Year Award, and in 1994, the Black College Football National Player of the Year Award was renamed the Eddie Robinson Award. In 1997, the Football Writers Association of America renamed their National Coaching Award after Robinson. Between the years of 1995 and 1997, Robinson posted three losing seasons and retired under the scrutiny of being forced out by the university. Robinson retired from coaching football at the age of 78, but left a legacy even the most celebrated white football coaches had to respect. April 3rd, 2007, Coach Eddie Robinson passed away, but the seeds of the greatness he planted continue to harvest to this day. Robinson raised the standard of coaching and football expectations for black college football. Despite all of the obstacles in front of Robinson, he pushed through to claim his spot at the top of the college football coaching mountain. Coach Edward Robinson, we proudly, proudly stand on your shoulders. For more information, please visit www.ontheshoulders1.com.